Do you know you had cops watching the house? Oh yeah, my boyfriend's a hitman. Oh, okay. Well, um, medium pizza, extra cheese, nine twenty-three. Oh, gee, I don't seem to have any cash on me. Can I give you a blowjob instead? Kiddo. A guy in a pillowcase, a clingy nymphomaniac, two chick cops talking about anal, and one dude trapped in the middle without a clue. You have a lawn full of clover and a garden. From the makers of Serial Rabbit 5 comes the second to last worst day of my life. Watch it free today on Amazon Prime. A link is in the description. Well, get the hell out of here. I'd really rather have the blow. What's up, my bundle of sticks out there? <laughs> you fun-loving butt-playing pricks. Terrence Pop here at Darkless.com, and I haven't even started drinking yet. But, <laughs> I did say yet. Because today, we're tearing apart an article from Jessica Valente. <clears throat> oh, I got a little lump of vomit when I said her name. Oh, God. You know what we're up against, so please, you know the drill. Pour yourself the menagerie. Cause it's gonna go crazy up in here. Yo, she bitch. Let's go. Yeah. I was speaking at an event this week when someone asked a question I've been asked a hundred times before. How can feminists do a better job of reaching men? Try not hating us. Here's another thing. Stick your arm out, go down 45 degrees, grab on and give a couple gentle tugs. <laughs> Or better yet, you could try to stop blaming us for all your shitty decisions. And this next one goes out to Jessica directly. Well, how about you try not using a journalism platform to spread your misandry? And try not to be the poster child for all you shrill, nagging cons. <sighs> Sounds refreshing, but it really isn't. It's a reasonable query, and for years I've answered it by pointing out all the ways women can talk to the men in their lives about feminism and how they can help. No offense, baby, but you are the absolute last person people should be talking about this bullshit. Especially when you write articles like this. There is no war on men, but maybe there should be. Or posing for pictures wearing t-shirts like this. It's pretty clear you're not looking for a solution. You are the problem. But... That's my line, bitch. Can I have anything anymore? Hey, that's female privilege for you. Fuck that, I need a shot. Women always come in and ruin everything for the dudes. This time I'd run out of patience. I answered that I don't really care about reaching men anymore. It's too exhausting, too demeaning. It's absurd that a woman should have to persuade someone else of her humanity, which is, remember, what feminism is actually about. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> wow. No matter how many times feminism uses this line, or refer to the dick shun airy why they should exist, it never gets less funny, I'm just saying, man. Let's go back and look at the past few years of feminism and break it down what it's really about. The Woman's March, holy shit, I do not have enough booze. I need more. A bunch of dried out snot pockets taken to the streets to protest for rights that they already have. I need a drink. You cannot make this shit up, but apparently they can, and that's why this show exists. Manspreading, because sitting down with testicles is now a woman's issue. Rape culture, holy shit, this booze just isn't enough. I might have to get some drugs. Because women want to call any and all sex rape. As long as they get money, helps their dating prospects, which is crazy, or just makes them famous. Hashtag me too! <laughs> In the end, it really means fuck you. Because due process has now become patriarchy and we need to get rid of it, believe all women. Feminism has nothing to do with humanity. Unless you're talking about dropping your trowel and taking a steaming shit on it. In fact, Putting feminism and humanity in the same fucking sentence makes me want to drink more. You should be fucking ashamed of yourself. You're fucking scum. You are fucking scum. You want to know what's really absurd, Jessica? It is absolutely absurd that feminist hate mongers like you are trying to convince a society <laughs> of an oppression that doesn't fucking exist. Because when you really look at it, you're not victims. You're fucking predators. And men, 
we're the prey. But, <laughs> we're fighting back. But we shouldn't be allowed to do that. Where? You want us off the college campuses. Hell, you even want us off the streets. And you want us out of the house. Ironically, you want all that so you can raise your boys to become violent rapist mass shooters. And then you turn around and blame it on the fact that there was no father at home. So you can collect another check and a victim card screen five. <laughs> it's not funny. It wasn't funny, man. Bottom line, Piaccia, it doesn't matter what you think feminism is about. All that really matters <laughs> is what you can prove. And since the facts are not on your side, I want you to do me a personal favor. I want you to take out your cuck husband's peg D and choke on it. Ha <laughs> Screen five. After all, feminism is for men also, so go ahead, suck his dick, make him a sandwich, and pour him a beer. Space ghost. My condolences on your forthcoming divorce. That's not to say I don't think men's support is necessary for women to make real progress. It is. It is, baby. <laughs> it really is. That's why you keep voting us into office as long as we have a D after our name. So you can demand legislation for the war on women. Where? And then you bitch and moan when all of the free shit you wanted needs congressional oversight. From the same dudes that you voted for in the first place. What the fuck? That's true privilege out there, ladies and gentlemen. Creating the problem and then bitching about it. But men can and should figure out for themselves how to be a true ally to women without creating more work for us. That's like asking the Jews during World War II to go ahead and walk into the death camp and take the shower without a fight. Because after all, you're just making more work for the Nazi guards when they had to fight back and shit, right? Do you have any idea how long it takes to clean blood, skin, and hair out of a machine gun firing mechanism? Jesus fucking Christ, it takes a long time. What kind of warped human being would find that funny? <laughs> if you need Christmas gift ideas for your dumb millennial cousins this year, tell them to wipe their ass with that gender studies degree and give them the gift of financial advice. Purchase Bachelor Pad Economics on Amazon today. A link is in the description. Right now, we are living under the most explicitly misogynist president in modern history. <laughs> Awkward. In a country where an accused sexual abuser was just appointed to the Supreme Court. First of all, fuck you. Second of all, eat shit and die. Isn't it amazing how much steam a lie will get when you repeat it over and over again and it's supported by the media? Besides grabbing women by the pussy because when you're a billionaire star, they let you do it. Hey, when you're a star, they let you do it. <laughs> You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab him by the pussy. <laughs> that sounds like consent to me. We're talking about a dude who on a routine basis puts women in positions of power that can handle the station. Not to mention he donated 50% of his DNA to make some serious quality eye candy, if you know what I mean. I'm just saying, I would fill her out like a job application in triplicate. <laughs> One for each hole. I might thank you. And you want to know what else is not misogyny? Due process, and it doesn't matter how much you hate it. Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh was accused of sexual assault by women who didn't have any goddamn proof. In fact, all but one backpedaled on their story or said it was a flat out lie. And this one, <laughs> she couldn't remember shit. None of the five W's, and I'm not talking about George W. She couldn't remember who, what, where, when, or why, and didn't mention it to anybody until it was politically convenient, 30 years later. It was all a publicity stunt, Jessica. You should know all about that, because it has a lot in common with every single article that you have written. <laughs> Screen five. But, <laughs> unlike you, she made out like a bandit. But why would a woman ever lie about rape? Huh? Fuck off. <laughs> get ready, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna count the ways. One, to get rich. Two, to get famous. And you don't have to accuse anyone who's actually famous to get famous yourself. In fact, I made an episode about it. Here it is, check it out. And number three, and this is the most important one of them all, there are no downsides for them doing it. 
even when they're caught red-handed, lying their goddamn asses off or pussies off, nothing happens. Brian Banks spent five years in prison because of a false accusation. And the chick who lied to put him in jail got compensated by the school board for two million dollars. After he was exonerated by her own words. When she said those things, what did you say to yourself? Wow. You would think she would go to prison, right? <laughs> Silly rabbits because of vagina. But <laughs> keep telling yourself how privileged I am because I have a pee nice. Women are being killed for saying no to men. If you don't know what she's talking about, I'm going to fill you in. Not you or the guy behind you, but your wife because uh, <laughs> she's salty. More cock! <laughs> it's been a while. I know you guys wanted to see that shit. She's talking about incels, which means involuntary celibate. And these dudes are actually killing women for rejecting them. Wah. If I killed every woman that ever turned me down, the body count would be longer than the Clinton screen five. <laughs> one of these cases resulted in a mass shooting. <laughs> Shocker, wanna smell it? No. Yeah, he came from a single mother home. And you wanna know what you're gonna find if you look up threads about this bullshit on the internet? You will find thousands of dudes condemning these individuals and making fun of them a reference to horrendous shit, which is what I cover. Usually furry degenerates or probably people like yourself, incels, virgins with rage and kind of stuff. Are you there? So Jessica, I'm just going to point this out. Your point, kind of like your last EEG. <laughs> Flatter than an A cup. Ah. Listen, evil is evil. People are going to murder just like people are going to rape. Shaming them into stopping that clearly has never worked. And neither does removing the father from the home. But hell, you guys keep doing that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and take some self-defense courses? Or heaven forbid you get a CCW and learn how to shoot a gun. But wait a minute, feminism doesn't like guns because they kill children, right? Can't stand the competition, huh? <laughs> Screen five. <laughs> abortion a crime if the fetus has a heartbeat. I'm not gonna get into the weeds about this bullshit because I already made an episode about it. Here it is. Bottom line, you're either on one side of the fence or the other. Kind of like being gay. Either it's murder or it's not. But <laughs> you knew that one was coming all over your chest, neck, back, thighs. Apparently to be a feminist is to be vegan. And these people think killing animals for food is completely unjustifiable. But, ha ha ha, aborting a fetus is just fine because it's your body and your choice, right? All right, you see this here? Yeah, this is your body. Now look at this little thing here. Yeah, yeah, not your body. Uh, would you please explain to me how your fucked up brains work because I need to know. Oh, that's right, they don't. <laughs> Screen five. The best gift you can give yourself this Christmas is getting the hell out of corporate land. Leave the old dinosaur economy where it belongs and flip the bird to the office life forever. Purchase Corporate Land on Amazon today. A link is in the description. And the wage gap is actually much wider than we originally thought. Here we go again. This has been debunked more times than vampires, but you keep bringing it up. Apparently, I was mistaken. So please freshen up your menagerie and buckle up because it's coming hard and fast. Kind of like me when she's a blonde from South America. Hey, I'm sorry, baby. I tried to hold it, but that ass. You know what? I'm a fair man. I'm going to give you feminists out there credit for one thing. Even when something is wronger than two boys fucking on a priest's coffin in a church, you will cling to that shit like lint in a dryer trap. What the fuck? This new study says women are only making 49 cents on the dollar now. Wee? I know you guys are like, what the fuck? I thought it was 77 cents. Well, so did I. This is news to me. And I have already proven that one was complete horse shit. I made an episode about it. Here it is. But <laughs> you know me, I can't let this shit slide. No, I will not. Are we ready on the right? Ready on the left? Ready in the middle? All right, we're going to shoot your ass down like a Jap in World War II. First, I'm going to tell you how they came to this realization. 
They averaged out the earnings of all men and all women over a 15 year period. And that is how they got their magical nonsense on the dollar. Did you see what I did there, right? That's the headline. That is the brainwashing propaganda they're trying to sell you. But <laughs> when you actually read that study, gentlemen, pour yourself some booze because you're going to need to take that shot. Logic, fact, and reason jump ship faster than the first white bitch on the Titanic. Number one, these assets say women taking time off or having children is a penalty. Not only do they want paid maternity leave, now they want subsidized child care. Every single time they shit out a vaginal turd. And that is on top of affirmative action and titty milking rooms. So basically, they want a company to shell out a full salary when they take anywhere from one to six years off. Sorry, bitch, that makes you a financial liability, not an employee. And women are so offended when these companies say, fuck you, we're not paying for that. What do you mean I'm not getting paid while I'm not working? Patriarchy, feminism, space ghost. Item number two, out of all of the women in this study, 43% of working women took at least one year off in a 15 year period. If you're working in the tech sector, you're obsolete two times over by the time you come back. Oh, you're gonna love this. But somehow one page later, only 9% of the women managed to work 14 out of the 15 years. How does that happen? And number three, you women can't negotiate for shit. That's why you're more likely to accept those poverty wages. And you know what? That's voluntary. In today's day and age, if you have one of these and you still take the low paying job, you're an idiot by choice. And number four, in 2017, only 57% of the women were actually working. You didn't take that into account, did you? No. But hey, we can't talk about that. We can't criticize or point fingers unless it's going to the conclusion that they want. And number five, they ignore the biggest gap of them all. <laughs> the death gap. As of the last census, 94% of all workforce deaths, you guessed it, are men. And you know what? Guess who's doing all of the dangerous jobs? <laughs> they got a little thing between their legs. It's called a pee nice. You don't hear women bitching about equality 30 stories over the concrete, do you? There's only one kind of splat that those ladies want to hear. That is when the CEO covers their tits with that quart of one-way yogurt, screen five. <laughs> because then you got them for sexual harassment and rape. <laughs> Make it rain, baby. Make it rain. And number six, you want to know the best part of all of this? Even when these women get everything that they want, they're still not happy. Since feminism has taken hold, happiness for women has plummeted into the toilet. And the use of happy pills has gone through the roof. And you would think by now that they would realize that feminism lied to them and it's a complete failure. Just like this study, debunked, go cry, wah. We should not have to persuade you or try to bring you along. You should be outraged already. And not just because we are your wives, daughters, or mothers, but because we are people. We know you are, and you know what? So are men. Why don't you try treating us like it instead of blaming us for all of your shitty decisions? But it's not you. It's white men. They're a little fragile right now. Why don't you accept the fact that equality means taking responsibility for yourself? I already know why, ladies. You really don't want to. You don't want to be people. You want to be better than that. Because people, <laughs> they're equal in the eyes of the law. And feminists have made it clear over and over that that is not good enough. You want to call men the root of all evil. And somehow you get to call anyone who disagrees with you a sexist. You want to use affirmative action to take all of the cushy jobs away from qualified men. Despite all of that, somehow there's still sexism in the workplace. You want to embrace your sexuality and bang anyone you want because it's empowering. And somehow revoke consent retroactively and then claim the victim. You want to prove anything we can do, you can do better. And to make that happen, you get the system to lower the standards for you. And if they don't, you sue them. The foundation of the complaint is based on, as you mentioned, um, a physical fitness test 
that the Pennsylvania state troopers um, have in effect um, for troopers to be eligible for that position. Um, and there is a federal law um, that prohibits employers from discriminating on the basis of sex in employment. And one way that employers can do that is by putting a test in place that can disadvantage women. You want to be superior to men. You want to be above the law. And somehow in your sick, twisted mind, call that equality. But <laughs> you know what? People aren't falling for your bullshit anymore. And that is why you write idiotic, tripe bullshit like this. And you appeal to feelings using shame and guilt. Where would feminism be today without moral outrage? Guess what, baby? My cold, black, dead heart doesn't give two shits a damn or a fuck. And if it wasn't for my fans sending me this, I wouldn't read your shit because you're stupid. Jessica, no matter how you dress up this feminist pig, it is not a humanitarian movement. We know the deal. You and your harpy fans are vile, hateful, envious, duplicitous, sexist pieces of shit. Oh. Oh. Every single one of you is going to wind up old, poor, powerless, and probably fat, or forgotten, or both. And then one day, when the smell alerts the mailman, he's going to call the cops. And they will discover your lifeless corpses eaten down to the bone because the cats they ran out of food. And then they started chowing on the one thing left that smelled like tuna, screen five. <laughs> With that, I would call this article in Jessica Valenti's career deader than the wage gap. Not that she'll ever see this episode because we were on Twitter five years ago for like a day and she blocked us. But she hasn't blocked all of you, so do me a favor and share this with her because it'll be glorious. You want to know what else is glorious? <laughs> this hundred proof rye. <laughs> You're still full. For now. But some of these bottles are really low and I'm going to need your help. So please check out the links below for Patreon, PayPal, and Subscribestar and send us a couple bucks because this shit is expensive. But if that is not your forte and you want some genuine redonkulous swag, go to patrolbase.net and pick yourself up some. For you new guys out there, please hit the subscribe button and the bell because hitting just the subscribe button is now meaningless. Kind of like Jessica Valenti's marriage license because, you know, that's gonna last. Ha <laughs> ha ha, <laughs> like another thing, my daughters, they get so pissed off at me because I breathe loud because my fucking nose is all fucked up. Five times. Yeah. So I'm sitting there and like, I'm, I'm like falling asleep and it whistles. It's like, mm. <laughs> and I get here my Alexa's like, no, no, quit breathing. Stop breathing, dad. <laughs> you know, there's going to come a day when I am going to stop breathing and you're going to be sad. <laughs> that one day that just might happen. Fuck off and bring me a beer.